What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6 p.m. on Thursday. I'm hoping for a loading screen. A new, nope, never mind. Don't worry about that then. It is 6 p.m. on Thursday and we are going to have a little look today at what content is here. So we have got nothing. Play online 2 and score battles 2. Oh yeah, going to finish that straight away. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content, of course, feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We are very close to 2 million subscribers. Um, but uh, if you don't want to, then hey, that's fine too. Just don't worry about it. I'll be all right. Um, ooh. Ooh, he looks all right. <clears throat> Hold on. Before we get there. No, we do want there. Etienne Kapue is there. So upgrades. Nothing. Icons. Come on. New icons today, please. No new icons today. Damn. I really thought today would be the day. And I'm also expecting today to be the day for new league SBCs. I'm expecting the La Liga and two or three new minor leagues. Let's find out. Yes, they are there. There we go. Liga Santander for a prime goal players pack. It's going to require uh, players from one club, max one. So seven bronzes and silvers and then a few golds for that. Very nice indeed. Uh, La Liga players, just 11, 90 chem. 1180 chem and 11 hole. Oh, this is easy. Prime electric, prime electrum untradeable, electrum untradeable. That's 24 players. Jumbo gold pack trade war, still players pack. That is insane. I don't know if you guys have been following the league SBC grind with me, but for those of you that have, this might just be La Liga has so many bronze and silvers. This might just be the best one because you don't need a singular full club and you only need seven bronze and silvers, unlike the Premier League that requires 11, and you get 45k pack at the end. That's banging. That is bang. Oh, yes. It's just what you like to see. The Super League for a rare election players pack. One Players from one club, maximum one. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, players from one club, maximum one. That's the 11 different clubs, maximum silver on that one. A one club squad. Small prime electrum, small silver players. Just a Super League team and a Super League team. Premium mix and small prime mix. And that gives you a rare electrum at the end. Very nice. The 1A Pro League, a.k.a. the Belgium League, for a, oh, a premium gold players pack as the final rewards. That would indicate that this should be stupidly easy. So an, uh, an 11 club squad for a premium silver pack. A one club squad for a premium gold pack. A squad for a prime mix and a squad for a premium mix. That's probably the weakest we've seen. It's not bad in terms of um, anything, really. It's, it's just a weak league and maybe they anticipate it to be extremely cheap and then the csl for a rare gold pack that's also a weak reward so they've they put two weak, weak rewards here but obviously the csl is just so many players in it so many bronzes so yeah players from one club at maximum one again um a one club squad a squad with two goals and two rares and a squads with three rares i mean that is very easy a small rare mixed players pack and a small prime election players pack untradeable and then a premium silver pack and a premium gold pack tradable then a rare gold pack to end. It's not the best. Um, Pro League and CSL, not the best. Super League, very nice. I think La Liga is insane. Um, I, I think based on the number of silvers and bronzes that are in La Liga, that will be easy. And then just three squads outside of that. This is going to be so repeatable. And you get 24 players here, 12 more players here. That's 36 players plus a jumbo gold pack. You're going to get like 40 players back for submitting 44 players. That is unreal, in my opinion. I might be wrong. We might have to see how that one goes. But I think Liga Santander is ridiculously priced. Um, there is some rumors that icon swaps are coming soon because uh, the Prime Icon update has been in the game now. Uh, we have got an Etienne Capoue. Uh, it is his team of the tournament or team of the knockout stage or whatever from Villarreal. I mean, this card has been boosted hugely. Now, his gold card had like... 33 acceleration, 33 dribbling, like 12 pace, something like that. You know what I mean? So right away, the fact that he's six foot three, three star, three star with those stats, that is a good card. It reminds me of the Arturo Vidal card, to be fair. Uh, his in-game stats. Oh, he's been given a monster boost. I mean, this, this, this is a monster card. This Etienne Capoue, very, very, very good. Um, stamina, physicals in general, great. Defending, brilliant. Being French from the French, from the Spanish league gives him a lot of incredible links his dribbling for a big man is insane his passing is insane 90 short pass 88 long pass and 87 vision amazing 
His shooting from range, his attack positioning is good. I mean, this is a great card. It is two segments. I think it's a great card. We are looking at an 83 rated squad with a team of the week and a French player for a premium mixed players pack. And an 84 rated squad with a team of the week and a La Liga player for a 75, uh, 75 chemistry in there for a small election players pack. I think that's great value. For me, guys, this is an absolutely brilliant SBC. We've then got marquee matchups for a premium goal players pack. All traded, of course, Genoa against Sampdoria, Porto against Braga, PSG against Monaco and Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. You will need one player from Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. You will need uh, two players from either PSG or Monaco. One player from the Serie A and two players from the Liga Porta Giza. Do we have anything else? We don't, which is surprising because the showdown cards got leaked. So the fact that the showdown cards aren't here is quite surprising. Um, let's go and have a little look, guys, at the splash screen to see if there's been any updates on that. Here we go. Ultimate team for the versus promo. What are we saying here? Give us a little something. Give us a teaser. Oh, there is a little teaser there. Let's go into uh, this right here. So we've got a German with 92 pace. We've got an 86 rated with 87 defending. And an Atletico Madrid player with 89 shooting. Very nice indeed. And they're all red cards. Notice that. Not the blue versions. Just the red variants. That's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. And so, before we go... Let's have a look at how this uh, Kapue SBC is being received. Super League downvoted massively. Pro League downvoted massively. CSL downvoted massively. Liga, Liga downvoted a little bit. I, I think people just don't understand how this grind works. Maybe that's me being a bit arrogant. I don't know. Etienne Kapue generally thumbsed up. I think uh, I think he should be heavily thumbsed up. I think once you see his price come in at like, what, 83 with an inform, maybe like... 20, 25k, 84 even inform, maybe 35k. You're looking like 60 to 65k, maybe 70k for this card. Um, but if you have a look, if you have a look at the boost, look how Vieira's there as well, because he's compared to Vieira. If you have a look at this boost, guys, 29 acceleration, 27 sprint speed, 47 agility, 22 balance. 10 positioning and shot power, 11 short long passing vision, 9 across the board in physicals, 9 across the board in defending. In defending, As a base card, he's an 88 DM, right? You bang a shadow on this guy. Oh, I mean, that is, that is an unreal card because he's passing so good at the base stats already. His agility and balance is nice for a DM, 6-3 with those stats. Let's actually compare him to Vieira since people have on Footbin have, uh, have got him next to this 86 Vieira. He's got five less pace, six more shooting, five more passing, uh, five more dribbling, the same defending and four less physical, same three-star, three-star. In the stats that matter for what we're doing here, defending physical pace and probably passing, I think Kapue just wins all up. He's got two less vision, but otherwise better passing than Vieira. He's got way better agility and balance, a little less reactions, a lot less composure, but better dribbling and ball control. Defensively, he's got more interceptions and defensive awareness, which for me personally are more key stats than side and stand tackle. And then he's got more stamina, but less strength and way less aggression, which I do think is also a very important stat. But you can see the comparisons there. 1.4 million for Vieira. And I think it's going to come in somewhere around 60 to 80k for Etienne Caput. There you go, 71k. I think this is a banging SBC, guys. With two packs back as well, of the untradeable fodder that you'll have in your clubs absolutely sensational that is going to be the end of the video for today if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and for now guys i'm out peace